Hello everyone, this is Copulane, and today I'll be talking to you about how to install Gramps on Linux Mint 13. Linux Mint 13 is pretty old now, but I believe that the latest version is Linux Mint 17. But this should be the same way for Linux Mint 17 or any other Debian uh, based version. Okay, so let me go ahead and start the terminal. So I'll show you how to install Gramps and uninstall Gramps. sudo apt get install Gramps minus y. Type in my password. Now I used to have this installed. This is my little shortcut here. You should probably see it get updated. Just to show you that, see, there it is. So, here's Gramps. To uninstall it, let's say you didn't want the application installed, all you do is simply remove, or I rather replace install with remove. should get updated as well. See? And it's gone. Alright. So we'll go ahead one more time and we'll reinstall that. And then I'll show you how to make a backup of your family tree. Okay? So, obviously I don't have anything on this currently. Right, so I have no family tree. I just installed it. I have no pictures, nothing whatsoever. But the way that you would go ahead and do this now Okay, let me just delete that. Now let's say I wanted to create a family tree. Let's, well, let's say I had a family tree. I'll call it FAM for short. I press enter and I load my family tree. So this is my family tree. I should have it. I should see everything here, places, geography, so forth, right? Now, I want to go ahead and back this up. I can do two things. I can do it through the GUI or I can do it through the command line. Now, as you know, I love command line. It's a lot faster, but I'll show it for both. Through the GUI, if I wanted to back it up through the GUI, graphical user interface, I just simply open up my application, open up the family tree that I'm interested in, should be only one, and then I would simply say export. Okay, so I want to export it because this way I'll be able to place this onto another system with, let's say I wanted to, you know, update Linux Mint 13 to Linux Mint 17. All right, and I wanted to make sure that I have everything for that family tree, so I would do an export. You can make a backup, but I prefer the export. So export, forward, and I want to select this one. Every document and media, any pictures that are associated with any of the members of my family, I would like to have it. So I would select this one, Gramps XML Package Family Tree and Media. Click on forward. Don't select anything here, leave it as is. Click on forward again. I can change this to the desktop and change it to um, my documents, anything that I wish, okay? But I have to remember what I called it. So the family name, the family tree was called fam and the backup file, I'm gonna also call it fam, okay? Keep things simple. Okay, so it's going to be saved on my desktop. It's going to be called fam.gpkg. GPKG. Apply. Close. So there it is. Fam.gpkg. There it is. Now, let's say I didn't have um, a family tree in Gramps. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete it. 
my family trees. Take this, delete it. Okay. How would I go about doing this? How would I go about importing it? Trick is you have to actually create it first. So you have to say new and you give it a name that you'll be familiar with. Before I called it FAM. I press enter, then I load the family tree. Now, in order to bring in everything that I had here, this extensive database, which by the way, I'll let you know that it's under preferences, family tree. This is your database here. Okay. That's the location. Okay. So what you're going to do is that you're going to import this now family trees, import. So manage family trees, then import, and then you're going to select the one you want. The only one that I have is on my desktop, which is great. I'll import it. It tells me that if I wanted to uh, change the path to make it a lot easier, then do so. All right. Of course, there's nothing that was imported because I have no data. So this is expected. But most likely, I'm sure the people here would be like in the hundreds, if not, you know, thousands, whatever. All right. So and I click on close and then I should be able to see all the people that would be their relationships and whatnot. All right. If I want to do this through the um, terminal, OK, if I want to do this through the terminal, let me just go ahead and. Uh, If I want to go through the terminal, what I would do is I would export it just like I did through the GUI. So if I do grams, I'll show you that there's a help file. Okay. And this says import and export. These are the two that you're going to be using. So what you're going to do is grams minus capital O the name that you called it, right, minus E for export, because you want to export it, and you call it something that you'll be familiar with, fam.gpkg. It's as simple as that. Seeing how we already have one on the desktop that's called fam, let's change it to fam dash one. Okay. So there it is. Open successfully, exporting it. Done. Okay. And there it is. There is my backup. So now let's say I want to import this, right? Well, importing it is the same because basically if I were to import it, uh, let's just look at grams once more. You're going to see that E was for export, I is for import. So essentially all I would be doing is replacing the E for the I. So I place the I there for importing it. And that's all you would do. Press enter. It's saying that my spell check is not there. All right. Family tree you imported into already has a base media. Da -da 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 -da. So it's basically saying that it's already there. Okay. And it would just simply open it up. But that is exactly how it would be done. All right. So, hope you guys learned something today. This is Copperplane signing off. Until next time. Cheers.